Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Soul Eater episode number 46. Okay, the previous episode, it was uh, a conclusion to Medusa and I think it is the end of Medusa. Uh, previously, we have seen Medusa dying and everything and she came back. But I think this is like the final time she like came because the word she said that uh like when she was fading like uh don't think that your power will be enough to stop kishin that is a word that usually when people um uh like understand that yeah i won't be do able to do anything like anything anymore like this is kind of the last words that usually villains say so <laughs> yeah and it feels as if obviously like it is almost the end of the anime so i am quite sure this is the proper end to medusa and I'm still not sure about the whole uh, like re did really um, Krona like was Krona really able to stand up to Medusa? I'm not so sure because in the end Maka had to step in to like save him. But like uh, Krona went there to <clears throat> stand up to Medusa himself. And I, I think ultimately he was unsuccessful because he had to rely on Maka and this was something that he had to do on his own. He had to like break the shackles on his own but now that medusa is dead i hope so i think uh, medusa is dead i'm guessing uh like he will gradually i don't know like uh, be able to like change gradually like there are like two ways to change of like a break out of these shackles that medusa has put him into uh, number one is either go and like confront medusa step up to her and like uh, face her which will probably like break the shackles which he was unable to do and another way is the gradual way it's the like time consuming way which is like let time heal the wounds like that is another way which is probably i think uh, corona is going to now uh, like take like this is the only path he has left for uh, the like the kind of the like abuse that he went through in his childhood that to fade away time it will take time yeah and it's the end of the whole uh, mess that was happening with stein medusa um, everyone mari uh, maka everything that was happening in the site it's the end and i think we are going to now like focus on the kitchen and the whole thing with avon and all of these those and arachne and everything so yeah without further ado let's get started with episode number 46 of <laughs> soul eater okay uh i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right here's the countdown three two one go hmm. and we fool me haha <laughs> Yep, he has arrived. Hmm. One victory, one loss. Oh, is he like, uh, uh, like the first fight they had is he like judging that as Blackstar's victory I'm guessing because technically that was also kind of Mifune's victory because he did not unleash his full power <laughs> demon power or the sword yep Wait, what the? Wait, wh what was Blair doing underneath? W was there something the like subtitle team did, or it w was it official? Like I never saw that before in the openings. Uh, 
Okay, I'm guessing this will, uh, like this episode will focus on Black Star and Mifune's, uh, like, battle. And <laughs> we're still a little bit, um, like, we'll get to see uh, Arachne and Kishin two episodes later, I'm guessing. I'm not sure, let's see. Uh, they might, like, end the battle quicker, who knows. Oh yeah, this is the subtitle team. Uh, okay. I was thinking, what the hell was that? What's with this picture? <laughs> okay. Oh, kid. Hmm. I doubt that. I don't know. This girl is something else. <laughs> um. What is that? What the? Is that Excalibur? <laughs> oh no. Wait, is this an Excalibur episode? <laughs> what? I was thinking we we're gonna get the fight between Mifune and... Oh, they will have. Uh, yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> Back at me. <laughs> They're ignoring him. Oh no. Oh no. Caliber. <laughs> what? <laughs> yep. Okay, what Tataki? <laughs> oh my Yeah Okay, there it is Oh, oh my god. Mm. Mifune is a master of his, like, weapons, so it will be difficult. Okay. Oh no, don't! Yeah, shout like that. Like, you'll... Like, I've... <laughs> Usually, uh, shonen people d does this, like, shout before attacking. But, in a battle of speed, that is not something you should do. Oh! Oh my god! Wow! Oh! It's a clone! Oh, that was Subaki. Okay. Oh. Oh no, the uh, the other side of the sword. If he used the like sharp potion, he would have been dead. Oh my god. Oh, damn! That's some. Wow, that's a technique. 
That's some amazing technique. Oh boy. Oh ho ho ho. Yeah. Okay, let's hear it. Yeah, obviously he I was thinking he was going to tell him now. Okay. <laughs> what? Okay, so let's hear what is actually happening. Okay. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Is that Avon? Yeah, it is, isn't it? We saw him uh, before um, in the like when like Stein and Mari went inside that place to retrieve brew yeah 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 hmm yeah What has ox? Oh! <laughs> okay, good. Good disguise. Ooh! Mosquito! That. Hmm. I doubt she cares about her allies. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what is this ace they have. Ace in the hole. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay. So they're going to shoot a beam. Oh, okay. Oh no. Hmm. Okay. Haha, I can't even see this. Oh my god, Naruto. <laughs> 
Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, wow, that was swift. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I think comparing him to his dad, I think. Says something about his dad. There is something about. Oh my god, here it is. There it goes. Evil. Evil. Grand magician. Dai Madoshi means. Okay. <laughs> Coward and the <laughs> Yeah. Exactly. How do you know him? Colleague or something? Or maybe his weapon? Oh, okay, his friend. Oh, companion of Ashura. Hmm. <laughs> Where is the subtitles? Exactly. Yep. Bad people will use it for bad things. Hmm. Okay. Investigation of Aben was summarized in a Immortal light. Oh. Eh? What? What is he doing here? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, here we go again. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> um Is he making this up again? Oh, okay. Yeah, is it tr the truth? Yeah, but still, uh, bringing Arachne in, it, I think it is. It seems as if it's true. Okay. Uh, okay. <coughs> Yeah. There was a black star. No, a white star, wasn't it? Is that his name?
yeah this is one thing i'll talk about this later on like black stars like the way he behaves but you're walking the same path Oh. Oh. Yeah. What? Oh. Oh, he... The subtitles are bad, like, not on the point. Few things are, like, translations are quite... Not proper. Ugh. Bad subtitles. Oh. Come on, Black Star, calm down. Oh, damn. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Like I've I've been feeling this for, for quite a few episodes. Blackstar needs a wake up call. Like he is going out of the line a little bit for the past few episodes. Like everything that he does is kind of in the extreme. Old friends. Okay, what? Are uh, reciting your life story? <laughs> oh, observe. Okay, what is this brew? Let's see. Like it's considered to be the strongest magic tool. And for the next episode. Ah uh, yeah. Okay. Now, what I was talking about, the whole thing with Blackstar, like, Blackstar in the beginning, uh, like, when this show started, uh, not, in, even not in the beginning, in the, like, middle, uh, even, like, in the middle episodes, uh, he was a character who I felt a lot uh, similar to Naruto, uh, like, he was hot-blooded, he was, um, I don't know, like, uh, full of conviction, determination, he wanted to like reach that power and he uh, I don't know he had this like charisma this uh, 
like unusual type of thing that uh, like which I felt similar to Naruto with and obviously they're ninjas as well both of them and like like and his goofiness everything like kind of uh, really made, made me like Blackstar a lot even though I loved Kid a lot more than Blackstar because uh, Kid is uh, like for me I, th I think all, out of all the characters Kid is the best but anyways uh, like Blackstar was a really enjoyable character but in the last few episodes I've been seeing it after getting that demon sword like he has been changing little by little and one thing I really do not uh, I don't know uh, like I really do not understand is why is Subaki not uh, okay here's the end uh, why is Subaki not reprimanding him because Subaki wants the best for him but sh like Subaki is taking more of a neutral role nowadays I, I, I think like uh, usually in the previous episode we used to see Subaki like uh, talking with black star encouraging him and everything and like but the past couple of episodes um i'm not sure i think maybe subaki is waiting for him to realize it himself because this is something that he should realize himself not someone like if someone other tells you about it you won't be able to understand or won't be able to accept like uh like he's uh like personality started to change later on and i don't know nowadays i really do not like the way he like the way he behaves for example the whole thing with maka and everything like uh, uh like small little stuff even like he is like becoming like previously when whenever he used to say like i'll uh, like surpass god and everything like i used to feel like happy i used to feel like yeah this is like a character who is like one of those like determined character like uh, a typical shonen protagonist which is obviously good uh, uh, because Blackstar wanted to like um, become stronger and everything and he was determined for it but as he like went on and on he started to become kind of like uh, like went to go, started to go down a dark path like uh, like becoming strong was the only thing is the only thing now that is in his mind he like he doesn't care about anything else he just wants to be that guy he wants to be stronger and I think that is the reason behind it is because obviously his uh, fight with Mifune, like his fight with Mifune is also the thing that I think kind of made him spiral down this path because he never knew loss. Like he never like felt the amount of uh, overwhelming power that he, like Mifune is the only one who with whom he had first uh, like understood that yeah, I am extremely inferior. And if I am, uh, ha if I have to like surpass God, I'll have to like beat this guy which who is extremely strong and like way above me that I think that kind of made him lose confidence and like go down this kind of a dark path and uh, like uh, like it's it was becoming apparent like after uh, like as he went on and on as the episodes went on and on that uh, like Blackstar has changed and he is not the same Blackstar that I like that we have seen in the first few episodes and um, that is one thing I really do not like about Blackstar, like his like unusual type of change and his like thirst for power. Like this is the typical making of a villain and I uh, like hope that obviously uh, he like breaks out of this because uh, like uh, wanting strength to become the strongest and uh, like like uh, blindly following like uh, like going behind power is completely two completely different things and the way he's doing it now that is not the way he is like basically uh, like turning into a kind of a monster and I really do not like that and I don't know um kind of got beaten up here and I hope he kind of like understands that the way he's doing it that's not the way like he should do it in a way that i don't know that is okay like not blindly uh, like running behind power and uh not like not going uh, through the part that his dad walked and uh why says his dad isn't he yeah i think uh, they said something about him in one of the previous episodes and so yeah like uh, that is one thing that has all like uh, for a few couple of episodes uh, uh, it has been kind of like bugging me about Blackstar this thing uh, 
uh, especially like with the episode when he kind of like went and got, got into a fight with Maka where like Maka like became angry and everything and uh, Subaki went and talked with Maka individually and Blackstar later on kind of like apologized I think uh, like it, it was good that he apologized but uh, like that episode really kind of uh, stood out to me because I felt as if like the way he was talking with everyone and like the way he was like I don't know, uh, like behaving with everyone is kind of like, like he had a tunnel vision and that, uh, at the end of the tunnel, there's only one thing, power. Like that, like that has been like back blaster has become that. Like he is like looking through a tunnel vision and at the end of the tunnel, there's the only one thing, power. And he is not looking at a anything else. And that is not good, should not do that. And um, like this is basically him kind of turning like uh, into a demon as Nifune said that you are like uh, to gain power you're losing the um, uh, like you're, you're like leaving behind the path of a soldier and going towards the path of a demon and that is not something that you should and I'm not sure uh, about the whole thing of like the demon mode uh, like uh, like I think uh, like he kind of like went in this way because he wanted to control the uh, demon mode of that uh, weapon and he also knows that if he does not gain power he won't be able to control uh, Subaki's full power. So I think that also kind of like pushed him into this like uh, uh, like in this path that uh, like yeah, I will have to gain power. However, uh, like it is possible, I have to gain power so that I can uh, control the demon mode and gain power, surpass God, and so on. So yeah, like all of these things kind of made him like that, and it also kind of makes him a lot human than like uh, a lot of other characters. Like his uh, vulnerability, his uh, like I don't know his. Uh, like the negative things that are affecting him now it also kind of makes him a lot more human because this is something that happens like uh frequently like uh, to a lot of people like who are usually like like i'm not talking about like surpassing god <laughs> not that but uh, when who is uh, like when someone is like focused towards only one thing and uh, like being focused is good but being too focused is not good at all like everything at the right amount is okay like nothing like uh, like at a too much amount is like nothing is good at a too much amount everything should be kept at a moderate amount and it will be okay and yeah as i was saying so yeah like uh, normal people as well like if someone is like focused towards one thing uh, for being focused is good but if you like focus on it too much you will like forget each and everything and will kind of become like a madman like that and that is also not good for you yeah this is basically that. that's the reason why i'm saying that he is a lot more like human out of the all the other characters because um like uh, the vulnerability he has uh, uh the things that he's facing that makes him a lot more uh, human and he should uh, i'm hoping he would uh, like break out of this and Let's see, he kind of got beaten down pretty bad uh, this, uh, like this episode. Not sure what's going to happen now. He was bleeding uh, like quite, by quite a lot amount. And yeah, let's see what happens in the future episode. All right, that and another main thing, like that was one of the main things in this ep uh, episode. Another main thing of the episode was the whole thing with Avon. And turns out it was nothing. <laughs> Like it's probably something but still not at the scale that we were thinking and I was also like uh, I had a suspicion like this that maybe uh, the way Kit is kind of like thinking about it too much maybe it is not as bad as he was like thinking maybe it is something completely not tribal but completely different uh, in the way he was thinking like he was thinking like maybe she was saying he's doing some kind of shady business maybe they are like I don't know doing some bad things harming people or something and maybe that is the reason why like uh, all of these secrets and all of these uh, like uh, things they're doing secretly and everything so and turns out that it was uh, I think uh, like Shinigami and 
all the others did not say anything about this to get because who knows why uh because I, I think there is some kind of a thing like maybe which they are not comfortable about talking with uh, like talking to the students about maybe there is something because otherwise why would he like why would uh, shinigami and like Buddha Taki, all of them like keep it under like wraps so much keep it a secret so much and now, like now telling them when there is like no other choice so i think maybe there is something that they are a bit hesitant to like like tell the kids about so they like kept it under wraps and now that um kid is confronting them Shinigami is like maybe is maybe thinking that yeah maybe it is time now that i should at least tell my own son about this and uh, like he accepted and said that yeah i'll tell you now and who knows uh let's see like if this was something like totally normal they could have easily uh, like said everything to kid and like not kept it a secret and everything all of these kind of secret things that they are doing they, like they, they probably wouldn't have done that but maybe there is something of a like a small like little bit of some kind of thing which they are not comfortable talking about and and it turns out Avon was uh, the companion of um, Ashura that is uh, Kishin and uh, he started these magic tools uh, in the in, like in a good intention that yeah people would would use this and it would like reduce human effort and like help in a lot of other things as like everything like uh, all like tools are done for like tools are made because they are so that they can help people but unfortunately like as he's like as he said that tools which are extremely powerful kind of like fall if falling into the bad hands it kind of becomes a dangerous things a uh, dangerous thing so same happened here and magic tools are now used to um used in war and maybe uh, like kill people and all of these things and harm people <clears throat> right what else? Oh, and Excalibur's uh, arrival was a bit surprising for me. Like, I was not expecting Excalibur suddenly popping out. And <clears throat> um, Excalibur, like, I knew Excalibur is, uh, maybe he is someone pretty important. He is quite powerful, like, we know that uh, from one of the previous battles. And, um, and I thought maybe he had some kind of... Uh, Maybe he knew the other, like Shinigami and all of them, uh, other people. Well, it turns out that is correct. That is like Shinigami knew, uh, uh, not Shinigami, uh, Excalibur knew Shinigami. And they said something about like, it, it feels as if we're back in old times, all of us together, or something like that. And he said something about observing. So he won't uh, directly interfere in all of these things. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, another thing. Um, like I said this before, uh, like uh, in this episode uh, at the end as well, that Tsubaki. Um, I don't know why she suddenly became this kind of a neutral party. Like, uh, like in this episode even when they were like fighting and uh, Black Star was sl like slowly losing it, she said nothing. Like. I was at least expecting her to like say something about like keep calm black star or like uh, keep it together or you will like fall into the dark side or something like that like he she did not utter a single word in like like when they were fighting and everything uh, but obviously when black star was like cut down uh, she kind of screamed at that like that is something like normal like that is uh, like like that is something that is expected but uh, I was a bit surprised at her whole uh, like keeping a kind of a neutral stance in this uh, uh, black star becoming this demon kind of uh, person and even like uh, Mifune could feel that even Mifune could see that uh, like black star is slowly losing himself and he has kind of like strayed from his path so he like like swiftly kind of like defeated him flashed him down and uh, 
Like I'm more surprised at the fact that uh, where like even Mifune felt it, even Mifune tried to like, uh, like talk with him and like ask him that uh, which path are you choosing? Why did Subaki keep like uh, did not say anything? I don't know. Like there are these things are there are a few things that I'm really uh, I don't know feel unusual about like about the way they are acting like. Uh, black stars thing i can kind of understand like he after uh, like experiencing loss and everything he kind of feels bad now he wants to become stronger for s properly wield subaki and defeat mifune that is the reason why he's like slowly uh, like going towards this like path that he should not take but what about subaki like she should have like stopped him but i think maybe he is she as i said before she's not saying anything because she wants uh, black star to realize it himself or something along those lines but it kind of became if if that is really the case then it really did not work out properly then like it kind of became counterproductive because in the end uh, like like uh, like i get it like blackstar needs to understand this himself and choose his own path himself like no outside uh, interference should like bother him about it but i think a little bit of advice and a little bit of uh, like like i don't know conversation would have helped him and made him even like even if he did not realize that this at that time he could have like gradually realized that yeah maybe the way i'm doing this maybe the path i'm taking is not the way uh, not the proper way to become strong maybe i am like escalating towards a path that i should not take he could have gradually realized that but i don't know who knows like blast is kind of stubborn so <laughs> I doubt uh, he would have listened to Subaki even if, he's, even if she told him something. I don't know. Anyways, like, these are all like things that could have happened. Like, uh, it's no use thinking about it now when everything has like uh, gone down a completely wrong path, completely bad direction. So yeah, like, thing to think about now is that what will he do now? What will he do after this? Like, I'm sure like Blackstar will probably like turn out fine. So obviously he's one of the main characters. So he'd probably like <clears throat> be okay uh, somehow. I don't know how, but somehow. And now the question is, will he really change his ways after this? He wouldn't have to change a lot. Like he only has to change his intention. The way he is like uh, only uh, like running behind power that is wrong you should definitely run behind behind power but you should uh, like at the same time keep uh, like notice at your surroundings as well not like completely focused on that thing if you com go completely focused on the power uh, aspect only you slowly lose yourself and can kind of become uh, like a demon as his dad also like went down a same path path he became drunk with power he became drunk in the prospect of gaining more power that is the one thing that we should not do. And I think Blackstone needs to realize that. Okay. Um, so yeah, uh, that was uh, this episode. Um, let's see what, like in the next episode, we'll probably, like there are two things we have to, like uh, we'll, we'll have to anticipate. And number one is the whole thing with Avon, that what is actually brew, how is it so strong? And the other thing is what will happen to Blackstar. These are the two main things that concerning in the next episode like that i'm not sh uh, that i'm sure that they'll like <clears throat> unveil in the next episode because it's almost the end and the battle with kishin and arachne is still pending so yeah anyways guys um so yeah that was this episode this was episode number 46 of soul eater so if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new to the, uh, new here or if you have not subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say about this episode or anything in general i'll be sure to check them out and also i'm holding uh, like i'm uh, taking a poll and it's down in the comment section the link to the poll you could go and click there and it will take you to a poll where i have like listed five animes out of which i'll choose one and uh, do it which will replace soul eater after it ends so if you are interested be sure to go to that link and vote for the anime that you want and yeah so yeah guys um i'll be back uh, next week with another episode of soul eater uh, so until then goodbye and have a nice day